Hello, my name is Andrew Flushi, and I'm your Virginia defense lawyer. One issue that comes up for marijuana cases is proving whether or not an alleged substance is marijuana, and how is that done? Well, the Department of Forensic Science in Virginia has approved a variety of field test kits that the police can use literally on the scene of a situation, usually a traffic stop, for example, where they can test a substance for different drugs, and marijuana being one of the most common, of course. What I have right here is what we call the NARC-2. Now this is just one component of the NARC-2. This is the Duquesnoy Levine reagent, which is used to test for marijuana. So an individual test looks like this. It's a little pouch that has three little vials in it, and the, there's specific instructions right here on the back of the box, where the officer is supposed to follow the directions for administering the test to the substance they're accusing be, of being marijuana and then they have to follow the directions in analyzing how it works and like what, how to read it to see if it is marijuana. It's not a little red light, green light. It's a little more complicated than that. And so the officer needs to be educated and follow the directions properly to make sure we're getting an accurate reading from this, you know, very scientific test. There's little chemicals in the vials here. So this is an issue that we definitely want to look into for a marijuana case is did the officer administer the test properly? In some cases, there's not really a way to look into that because we, there's really no proof of how the test was done other than the officer's word. But in some cases these days with body cameras, for example, the test may appear on the officer's body camera. We might could actually watch literally over the officer's shoulder on the video while he's doing the test and see if there was an error in how he administered it. And that could be critical in getting a judge to keep the test out of evidence. This is one reason why it's important to not admit to things to the police. It's important to invoke your right to remain silent when you're being investigated for a crime because if you admit that it's marijuana, then this test may not matter. The judge may say, well, he looked like marijuana, the defendant said it was marijuana, so we're going to call it marijuana, that's good enough. If you keep your mouth shut, invoke your right to remain silent, and if we could keep the field test out of evidence against you and there's no lab test, then we may have a strong defense and you might even walk away with a victory for this case. So definitely contact me today so we can talk about your case and maybe see if there was an issue with how the field test was used.